Granny is terrified of Butty. Get down! It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. It's a menace! Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Oh, just won't leave you alone. You just bite the whole time. Oh, Butty, please stop, stop it! Stop it! It worries me because he's getting stronger and older all the time. We got the, the dog to share with uh, my parents to help with my mother's anxiety. Being able to go out with a dog, it's great exercise for her in, in her days when she has not wanted to do anything else, the dog always needs a walk. But in fact, all he's doing is causing more anxiety. You take him for a bit, Mum. Well, I don't really want to. No, go on, just give it, give it a go. Ah, okay. Stop it, Butty, now. A bit scared when I walk with him. He just makes you more anxious if, if, if you're anxious at all in, in the first place. The family believe Butty has no respect for women. <laughs> He's a proper chauvinist dog. Go to your cage! Into your cage! He, he just ignores me. <laughs> there is a pecking order within the house and he sees, sees himself above the females in the house. He's fine with my dad, he's fine with my husband and my son. No. Uh, with myself and obviously my mum. This is what he's like. He just, you know, it's like we're bottom of the pile. We're certainly nowhere near Alpha. Without a doubt, stop it. But he may challenge the ladies. Out, no, out, no, stop, out. But he loves their feet. Ow. But he definitely seems to have some kind of foot fetish going on. He is continually biting feet. Ow. It can get really bad. It gets to the point where you just have to stop whatever you're doing because um, you can't carry on. We have talked about rehoming him, but the thought of that breaks my heart. Back home, Graham wants to show Leslie it isn't just women Butty likes to wind up. If he wants to dance around, he can. And all I'm going to do now is not rise to that. I'm going to be really boring. Huh? He's like, I will get you to play with me. You won't. It won't work. No. Really. One thing we know is Butty's not a chauvinist dog. He's been just as bad with me as he has with Leslie. Huh? Stop. Point proved. Graham wants to discuss getting Butty back on track with the family. Carol, I see the way he is with you and he's jumping up and it's not nice. Now, I, I'm worried about the effect that's having on you. I, I wish he would stop it. it mm. It's painful, the biting. And I think the problem is nobody has taught him the rules and that was your job and you kind of missed on that. Mm -hmm. And so what you've created now is this, this uncontrollable teenager who's screaming and shouting at you every time you try and tell him off. Yeah, I agree. And I think I've made everything into a great game for him. But And I can see that you've tried your best. Um, sadly, your best was um, a bit rubbish, yeah. frankly. <laughs> it's hard to hear that kind of thing. It's hard to hear that um, the way the dog behaves is, is your fault, um, although I think I knew. It's no great surprise, but it is hard when somebody actually says it. I think there is a way forward that, that doesn't involve being nasty, but yeah. will involve... And this is the big challenge for you. you you're going to have to step up a bit and, uh, and, mm -hmm. and be the boss, frankly. We need to be clear with him what's good behaviour and what's bad behaviour. They need to be the ones in charge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Graham wants to prove that by stepping up and using commands with confidence, Butty will behave just as well for them as he does for the men of the household. Put your hand down and, and tell him stop. Stop. Yeah. Good boy. Good. By standing still and using the stop command firmly, eventually Butty will get the message that feet aren't fun. Stop. Stop. Good boy. Using praise once he's stopped biting them will help reinforce this. Now he's moved away, what do you Good do? Boy. I can see in Leslie there's a resolve there to fix the problem. She is thinking, yeah, we'll do this. And in no time at all, an undaunted Leslie has given Butty's foot fetish the boot. Good boy. With Carol, I'm a bit more worried because it is hard for it. It's hurting when the dog jumps up and our initial answer is to, to 
to back off, and there's only so much saying, stand your ground, I can do. Ah! Oh. As with Leslie, Graham tries to teach Carol that staying still and using a firm command will stop Butty's bullying behaviour. So uh, don't get into a fight with him. No. To some extent, it's your voice, because that was just like, no. <laughs> 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 and that won't be enough for him, That's I'm not afraid. Butty can sense Carol's nerves, which makes her even more of a target. No. Don't go with him. No. You can help oh. him. Fend him off the other. Right, OK. Go. You all right? Yeah. We can't just put your mum in the firing line no, all the time and go, and stand there until he stops. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, mm. I'm getting a bit uncomfortable about that. With Carol battered and bruised, Graham calls time on training for now. With Carol, I'm, I'm struggling a bit, if I'm honest. Um, and the truth is, he really is focusing on her now and he's, he's biting a bit harder. It's unfair on her. She's getting physically hurt and, and I think emotionally, oh, I'm not putting her in a good place. Graham says I tense up, but, you know, when a dog's got your arm in his mouth, it's very difficult not to tense up. With Carol's confidence slipping away and Graham running out of ideas, he'll need a new plan. He can't leave her in this hopeless situation. The, the problem's actually... Well, it's worse than I thought, uh, not with Butty, but with, with Carol, because she's becoming <laughs> quite literally <laughs> paralysed by fear. Stop it! I have to be leaving them with with the ability to, to move on and progress with this dog. And I've been racking my brain as to how to do that because everything I tried was making a tense up. But Grimm's had an idea. He believes the key to building Carol's confidence is for her to be supported by someone she trusts. And who better than her daughter, Leslie? It's about giving Carol the ability to, to take over bit by bit at her own pace without making herself you know, anxious and stressed out. But this will only work if Leslie can stand up to Butty. So if I hand you the, the lead, if you come into position... Yeah. Will a flick on the lead and a firm no be enough to deter this bully boy? No. So he's testing? No. No. Oh, better. Yeah. No. Good. Oh. Well done. So the thing to notice is, if he does put up a bit of a, a bit of a fight, a bit of a tantrum, you, you know, keep moving, walk, walk through it. Um, Leslie dealt with that very quickly, and it was over in what? Seconds. Yeah, a couple of mm. seconds. Yeah. Now that Leslie has proven to Graham that she's got the confidence to walk Butty on her own, she's ready to support her mum. Put your hands together, and then when you start to feel more confident about that, I think there comes a time when you say, OK, let me lead it. Yeah. Even if it's for the next yeah. 10 seconds, from here to that, that tree over there kind of thing, and then hand it back, and then bank that one, quit while you're ahead, yeah. tomorrow's another day. Okay. So I'll tell you what, without further ado, off you go. Right. Good boy. What? happening here the change is that um, he started to see Leslie in a leadership position so she's uh, you know she's taking control of this situation in a nice way um, he, he's beginning to realize I'm sure that he's not going to get away with all of his usual sh shenanigans and that even applies now when Carol's right alongside in fact I just seen her leg brush into him and it didn't make any difference so that's good just an hour ago Butty was still lunging at Carol so him walking alongside her is a breakthrough. I've got my hands together now. And I think he's aware of it. Good boy. And the change in Carol's confidence is plain to see. What do you reckon? That makes me feel a lot happier um, that he's not attacking me. And if, if it carries on like that, eventually, maybe, I will be able to walk him. Mm. I'm much more reassured myself now that, that I'm leaving you with the ability to turn this dog around. I'm absolutely delighted we, uh, we did this training with Graham because I really didn't know where we were going next with the dog. So to see the light at the end of the tunnel with him, that he can be that well-trained, well-mannered, polite dog that we want. Lovely. I've always said that training dogs is about dogs and people, and never more so than in a case like this. There were times when I didn't know where I was going next because we kind of hit a roadblock. 
But you know, I keep telling people with dogs, once you're on the right track, keep going, keep going, keep going until you get to the, uh, to the place you need to be.